हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी प्रीवियस ईयर मैथमेटिकल स्टेटिस्टिक्स पेपर रिलेटेड टू द आई आई टी जैम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ एंड सेवन इन अ वेरी सिंपल मैनर वट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ इज विच इज रिलेटेड टू द यूनिक नो सोल्यूशन और इन्फानेट मैनी सोल्यूशन वाइल दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज रिलेटेड टू फाइंडिंग दिस लोअर बाउंड ऑफ द प्रॉबिलिटी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दीज टू क्वेश्चन विद इन अ वन मिनट टास्क आर देयर सो एज This is question number four, which is of the one marks. So if you correct your answers, you will get the one marks. Similarly, this is question number seven, which is again of the one marks. Are there? So how you can get these two marks within a one minute solutions in the examination? So let's see how you can solve them. Myself, Dr. Gar, you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos related to this uh, previous year papers. Now, what first what is come in your mind whenever you are thinking about this unique solution? no solution or infinite many solutions so it may be that you may think about that you can write this in terms of the argumentary matrix like of a 2 1 and 0 and then 0 1 5 1 0 0 b minus 5 and minus 1 and you can uh, uh, use the row reduce form and then try to find its solution whether the rank of a is same as that of the rank of b or if it is same as that of the number of the variable then is a unique solution otherwise not be but since it is mcq we are unable to solve uh, we can, we are unable to do like this way because we have the only one minutes in the examination then how you can solve such type of the problem that's a very simple tricks so just follow this simple steps are there so you have to think about that which one of the two so let's start with the first question so let's say if a is equal to 1 b is minus 1 what will happen here so that means the equation will be my here this is a is 1 so the second one is 5z is 1 and when b is minus 1 it's a minus y minus 5z is 1 so what will happen so you, you can see these two equations are there so now basically these two equations are there so how many variables are there you have the three variables that is a three how many equations you have two so what is the meaning of that it has infinite many solution will be there so but here the question is is a unique solution when a is 1 b is minus 1 this option is cancel out look about the second option when a is equal to minus 1 what will happen this is my minus x plus 2y plus z is 0 when a is this is second option is y plus 5z is equal to 1 and the b is equal to 1 it means it's a 5y minus 5z is equal to minus 1 now it has a three equation let me solve these two questions these two equations when you solve these two if you add them what will happen 2y is 0 it means y is 0 when you substitute y is 0 in here you will get z as a 1 by 5 when you substitute y and z in here you will get the x as a unique value why because you can see y is 0 so what is the value of the z it is nothing but my 1 by 5 so what is the answer of this 1 by 5 1 by 5 and 0 corresponding to this that's a unique solution it means the answer is here also you can discard the other options are there let's say a is equal to 1 so what will happen this the first equation will be my x plus 2y plus z is 0 when b is equal to 0 so this will be 0 so you have get the value of the z as a 1 by 5 when the value of the z is 1 by 5 y is equal to 0 you can see and once y is 0 z is here you can get the value of the x as again minus 1 by 5 so again you can see there is a solution b that is a unique solution for that but the option they are talking about this no solution it means this option is also cancel can it be the infinite many solution you can see a is 0 b is 0 what will happen if a is 0 the equation will be 2y plus z is 0 when b is 0 so you can see the second option that is a minus 5z is equal to minus 1 and you can see y plus 5z is 1 so from here you can easily get the value of the y z from the first equation you can easily get the value of the y as minus 1 by 10 and you can easily say uh, this equation is not satisfied here it means for this it will get as a no solution but they are asking about the infinite many solution this option cancel this cancel the only option is my b so that's a simple way you can solve them because since we know that is only the one options are true so when you get this answer there is no need to solve the others piece so remember that there is no need to solve this argumentary matrix look about this next questions are there so if you read this statement and they are talking about this lower bound piece 
whenever there is a question regarding to the lower bound so we will work on the chebyshev inequality what is the meaning of that what is your target is your target remember that what is the chebyshev inequality is you have to write the equation like of this here it will be your answer will be always variance of uh, what is uh, what is that this is the variance of the x divided by if i write here as a k for example then it's a k square so remember that you have to write like this way so what is that you have to find the probability which are lies between 14 and 26 what is the mean is given to you 20 so x minus mu if you subtract as a 20 on both side what will happen this is 6 this is minus 6 you can write like this way now you can see this is my k it will be greater than of sorry it's a greater than so it's a 1 minus p. so 1 minus of this so it will be 1 minus what is the variance 3 is my standard deviation so the variance will be 9 divided by k square that is a 6 square so what is that this is 1 by 4 answer is 3 by 4 greater than equal to 34 what is the lower bound is lower bound is my 3 by 4 so the right answer is my here so this is the way remember that the Chebyshev inequality works on here so this is the only one question which we have discussed within a one minute solutions are there if you want to find some more videos related to this Chebyshev inequality how you can solve them I recommended you can watch this video where you can see that 20 questions are there with only one minute's video you can solve all of them so that you can get the more practice for solving this. Till then we will see in our next class this question we are discussed in this video. Now we will see in, in the rest of the questions in our next part of the IIT Jam 2020. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.